My name is Barry Derber. Welcome to British Ceramic Tile. We're going to do a tour of the factory today. This is the start of the tile making process where all the raw materials are delivered. All the raw materials used in our tile making process are delivered by road and are all accessed within one and a half hours radius of the business. The next part of the process of how we make a tile is where all the raw materials are processed through this continuous mill. The materials are forced into the mill via screw speed and high pressure water. As the material passes through the mill, the hard materials are broken down to less than 60 micron. The material exits the mill as a slurry. From here the material will be passed through a series of high frequency vibrating sieves to remove any residue. At this location here, we're going to convert the slurry into a powder. We do this with the means of a spray dryer. The spray dryer is a cylinder filled with hot air. We spray the slurry into the atmosphere of the cylinder. When the slurry hits the hot air, the water evaporates and goes through the chimney of steam and the particles of powder exit the dryer with a moisture retention of 6.3% powder is stored in one of the silos behind me. Each silo holds equivalent to 10,000 square meters of tile. The powder has to stand in the silos for 24 hours to allow it to mature. The powder is delivered to the press with a conveyor system. The function of the press is that when the pusher comes forward, the cavity fills with powder and the cross beam comes down, exerts the pressure of 230 bar, forming the tile. As the cycle goes forward, the tile gets pushed off the die box and the cavity again gets filled with powder. After we've pressed the tiles, we still have a moisture residual of 5.2%. We need now to remove that moisture before it goes into the kiln. And that is done by the means of a dryer. So the dryer reaches a temperature of 200 degrees before the tile enters the kiln. After we've dried the tile, we now need to fire the tile. The tile passes through the kiln, achieving a temperature of 1100 degrees. The tiles come along the travel line. They have the edges ground and they have the stress test applied. The tiles then go into store, where they are loaded onto a platform by a vacuum mat. We're now going to decorate the tiles and we take the tiles from the platform with the vacuum mat and load it onto the decorating line. Prior to applying the on-go, we would brush and blow off any loose bits that might be on the surface of the tile. The application after the on-go is the glaze. The glaze could be either a white glossy or a matte. If the product requirement needs a tinty glaze, we would add a pigment. On the glazing line, we have two forms of decoration. We have rotocolor, where we have a silicon roller that is laser etched. We have a blade and we have an ink. And as the roller turns, the blade forces the ink into the pixel. And as the tile passes underneath, the roller transfers the pattern onto the face of the tile. This form of decoration is with high definition inkjet printing. What we have here is a double lane printer that will theoretically produce in excess of 8,000 square meters in a 12 hour shift. So we have one product running down one line and a different product running down the other line. After the tiles have been decorated, we now put them into store before they are sent to the second fire kiln. The decorated tiles now come out of store and enter the second fire kiln. After the tile has been graded, we have a planarity machine and a sizing machine. After those two machines, we have the tile stacker unit. After the tiles have been packaged and the identification label has been applied, the tiles travel down 
the conveyor belt and are automatically palletised. After the pallet has been generated, the operator checks the quality of the tile. So he will physically take two boxes from the pallet, open the box, look and check that the shade is right, tick, and he will also check the packaging, the barcode, and the general appearance of the pallet. We are very proud of our manufacturing process here at British Ceramic Tile. It has been developed and honed over many years and uses a combination of the latest innovative technology and the best handcrafted techniques. We are obsessed about getting it right and ensuring every aspect of the tile production, from the design to the manufacture and finally the delivery of the tile is the very best it can be.